The year is 2019, and I was still a college student. But also, I was still very obsessed with Bloodborne. To be fair, I'm still obsessed with it, but uh, not to that extent. Anyway, one boring day at a one very boring class, I was bored, to say the least. And in my boredom, I sought salvation in uh, looking up some uh, Lovecraftian entities. And I stumbled upon a wiki page that basically lists them all. You know, from the Great Old Ones to the Outer Gods and the whole shebang. And while I was reading this wiki page, one name attracted my attention. And it was... Uh, hold on, let me try to read this very weird name. This name is... Kaja Kalba. Or something like that. Now, the name alone is uh, interesting. Interesting because it's hard. But what is really interesting in this name is the description of this uh, lesser outer god. The description of this outer god states, Kaja Kalba is a lesser outer god, servitor of Azathoth but secluded in a parallel chaotic dimension where everything is unstable. The god itself is constantly formed or disrupted and has no true form at all. Whoever attempts summoning this uh, entity needs the aid of a dimensional shambler, and the deity may manifest in a variety of forms often as an immense lava lake or a vast pool of solidified quicksilver. Doesn't this description ring any bells at all? If it does, good. This means you have paid attention to the story of Bloodborne, because this is very similar to uh, an old one in Bloodborne called Urdin. Odin is described in both runes that have his name as formless, and both runes are related to Quicksilver. Formless Odin makes you uh, carry more bullets with you, and Odin Alive gives you uh, bullets when you do a visceral attack, and bullets in Bloodborne are made of Quicksilver, just like this uh, Kajah Kalbah Outer God thing. So both Urdin and uh, Kaja are Outer Gods, both are formless, and both have a very heavy connection to Quicksilver. So the similarity between them is huge. But there is another entity that is very similar to them, or at least uh, very similar to Urdin, but not very much to Kaja. And this entity is the Formless Mother in Elden Ring. The Formless Mother is similar to Urdin in the way that they are both are uh, basically outer gods and both are formless and also both share some connection to corrupted blood. The Formless Mother is uh, attracted to the accursed blood of the Omen as described in a uh, Blood Boon and Mogwin's Ritual Spear. And like I said, Urdin is heavily linked to uh, Quicksilver. And Quicksilver is basically another name for Mercury. And there's a lot of uh, evidence, well not evidence, but convincing theories that everyone in Bloodborne has Mercury poisoning. Which means everyone's blood in Bloodborne is corrupted. Also, both Urdin runes state that uh, the blood is the essence of Urdin. So the similarities between Urdin and the Formless Mother is there. And then the similarities between Urdin and Kaja blah, 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 is there. And in another description of this uh, Kaja entity, 
it states that since this uh, outer god lives in a chaotic dimension, it is constantly getting uh, blown apart, eviscerated, nuked, and everything in between. And that's why it is uh, formless. And in my head, this is basically what Odin and the formless mother look like. I don't think they are your uh, regular Lovecraftian formless. You know, uh, just a mess, a whole mush of tentacles, eyes, and fingers. No, I think Odin is uh, something like a dimension or a planet of Quicksilver or Mercury or something like that. And I think that the formless mother is like a star, a blood star, if you will, that has no shape except that it is a whole body of blood, basically. And that is its form. And that's why it is formless also. This is so confusing and uh, I don't know how to describe it, but hopefully you understand me. Now, I know what you are thinking. You are saying in your head, holy shit, the similarities between uh, this uh, Kaja entity and Formless Odin are huge. So this must be what inspired Miyazaki to create Formless Odin and the Formless Mother. Well, my friend, let me tell you something. This Kaja Kalba entity first appeared in a short story called uh, The Freshman by Philip Jose Farmer, and he wrote it in the year 1979. Except that this part is a fucking lie, because the wiki page for this monster is very, very, very long. I spent, like, a lot of money to get the book that has uh, this short story. And when I read it, there was no mention, no mention at all, of this Kaja entity. There's another entity, like, uh, called Haktu or whatever, that is a giant. And it wasn't formless and it wasn't made of Quicksilver. So, I started digging and asking, and thanks to Reddit user Sinister Hummingbird, I managed to find out the truth. This Kaja Kalba entity wasn't written by Philip Jose Farmer, and it didn't appear in the mythical age of 1979. No. It first appeared in the mythical age of 2009, so it wasn't that far ago. And its first appearance was in a French scenario of uh, the Call of Cthulhu RPG. So, does this mean that Miyazaki wasn't inspired by this Kaja Kalba entity? Honestly, I don't think so. But who knows? I mean, the similarities between uh, Kaja, Blue, and Odin are very big. So, like I said, who knows? I mean, uh, Miyazaki was inspired by even weirder things before. So, him getting uh, inspired by a French scenario of a Cthulhu Mythos RPG game doesn't seem that uh, far-fetched of an idea. Anyway, I think I rambled enough about this subject, which most of you will probably find uh, stupid, but I think it's cool to find the similarities. So yeah, if you liked this video, like, subscribe, share, tell me what you think in the comments, and if you didn't like it, then I don't know, tell me why you didn't like it in the comments. And see you guys in the next one.